Okay, welcome to lesson six on uh, trigonometry here, and uh, I'm just going to talk about the graphs with the trigonometric functions to start with, and then we'll get into a couple learning targets with respect to what what a periodic function is, and uh, versus sinusoidal, and, uh, and some of the terminology that we're going to use in this in this uh, second part of the unit, uh, which is on uh, sinusoidal functions. Um, so if you if you actually fill out this table of values and plot the points, we get something that looks like this. Uh, so these black points here, the are are the actual points. Um, and so what happens is like you, you really get the pattern that we've been working on all unit, which is just seeing like how sine goes to one and then it goes back down to zero and then it's negative between 180 and 360. Uh, where y is negative, and um, and it's positive between zero and 180. Uh, that's where the sine the sine law ambiguous case comes from between 90 and 180. Um, and this is the sine function, and you continue on on forever in both directions. So this like uh, Desmos is taking me forever in both directions here, uh, but this is the sine function. Um, when we actually graph these as transformations, we're actually going to look at the key point zero zero. 91, 180, 0, 270, negative 1, and 360 and 0. So some key features of it, we, we actually have what we call the period. And the period, if this is actually a cycle where it starts to repeat itself again, you can imagine the full circle going, um, like doing a full circle and, and going back to the beginning. And so the period is the length of the cycle, and it's it's 360. The amplitude is is what we refer to as the height of it uh, above rest. So you can imagine if this was like a wave in the water, a resting wave would, would just be flat. Um, a, a really quiet wave would be, sound waves are similar too, a really quiet sound wave would, would not be as high, and a louder wave would be much higher than this. So the, the standard wave has an amplitude of 1, and that's the height that you have above rest. The maximum is 1 and the minimum is negative 1. Domain is all real numbers, and the range is all real numbers between negative 1 and 1. So my, or the my, minimum and the maximum. And the zeros are 0, 180, and 360. 0 and 360 being basically the same angle, but 0, 180, 360. And then every, uh, if you kept going, it's every 180 degrees, you'd have a zero. Cosine wave, when we graph it, we get something very similar. Uh, it's actually the same shape. It's just uh, shifted over. And so this one actually starts at 1, goes to 90 and 0. Uh, so starts at the top and then goes down uh, to negative 1 and then to 0 and then to 1 again. Uh, it really helps to see this because you, you get that cast rule idea that we've been talking about, positive between 0 and 90, negative between 90 and 270, and positive in that last quadrant, 270 to 360. So you can really see the quadrants at every 90 degrees. And we're gonna when we graph these transformations, we're going to talk about the quadrants because when we do a horizontal compression or stretch, those quadrants of 90 degrees or those key points of 90 degrees are going to change. Okay. The period is actually the same. It's 360. So the length of a full cycle from max to max is 360. The amplitude is 1. The maximum is 1. The minimum is negative 1. The domain is all real numbers. The range is the same. And the, the zeros are uh, slightly different, 90 and 270. So that's what gives co makes cosine 0. The tan function, this isn't necessarily something we're going to assess you on in this course, uh, but it really is helpful to see what it looks like. Uh, this isn't the best scale. Uh, set it to one again, um, and so it and like that that doesn't allow you to graph all these points. Um, but if we just look at this, uh, this is the like these the points that you get are, are the dots here, uh, and those are the ones that you can actually graph on this scale. Um, but what happens is as you continue to go, you can see that 90 is actually a uh, not like a, is an asymptote. It's a, there's an error at 90, and so what's going to happen is the graph is going to approach 90, it's going to approach 270, uh, it's going to go to infinity, and then it's going to approach 90 from the left to, to negative infinity, 270 to negative infinity. 
The period of this is, is 180. It's the length of a cycle. The cycle is only 180 degrees, um, which is kind of a complex thing because it, if it never actually reaches it, it, it it's it period. You could argue that the period is less than 180. Um, the amplitude is not applicable. It's not it's not really a a wave. Uh, it's a little bit different function. Uh, the maximum is infinity. The minimum is negative infinity. The domain is everything except 90 to 70 dot 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 every and every 180 degrees in both directions. Now, this is only a um, a very there's actually a better notation for this. It would be the straight line 90 plus 180k or 180 um, yeah 180n. And so uh, that's something you'll see more in advanced functions. But for now, we're just kind of saying it's every 180 degrees from 90. The range is all real numbers. The asymptotes are 90 and 270, and the zeros are 0, 180, and 360. Uh, really, what this comes from is that that trig identity, tan is sine over cos. Um, zeros are when sine is 0, and the asymptotes are when cos is 0. Okay. And so that gets us into the second part, and we'll just uh, we'll just upload a new video for that.